<coughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Timmy Banjo and if it's your first time here, I welcome you. I celebrate you. I embrace you. Kindly hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Kindly hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. And before we move on, a lot of research blood sweat tears has gone into this information i'm going to give to you guys so please can you give this video a thumbs up i'm begging you <laughs> give this video a thumbs up so that i know you appreciate vital informations like this and without further ado let's just get right into the video all right so today i'm going to be talking about nigerian anti-aging food i've seen a lot of anti-aging aging food so today I'm bringing the Nigerian version and I'm also going to show you guys how I implement that in my food like a very practical way at the end to or towards the end of this video so you have to make sure you stick around towards the end of this video so you see that also which is like a bonus let's start number one on the list is going to be clementine also known as tangerine um, orange lemon lime anything with citrus in it or ascorbic acid in it and that's because it is rich in collagen and collagen helps to build up your skin and take away the wrinkle effect and takes away the wrinkle effect in your skin it also helps to battle the um, damage of ultraviolet ultraviolet rays caused by the sun and you want to make sure you implement um, tangerine in your meals or you can even put lime lemon in your tea or in your water Alright, so number two on the list is going to be parsley and that's because parsley is a diuretic um, plant It helps to flush out oxidants in your body and just helps to speed up the um, movement of waste in your body through fluid or through um, Solid waste and we all know that many people use parsley in their food. They use it especially in their pastas I love parsley in pastas and I also use it to um, grill my turkey, grill my chicken, just because I like the flavor it gives my food, not knowing that it is part of the reasons you are able to pass out waste so easily. And it just helps as a sanitation um, plant, which helps to clean up everything you don't need in your body, takes away the oxidants and waste product out of your body. And also in your skin, it kind of goes down into your skin and like try to check everything that is going on there. And when it sees something that isn't meant to be there it takes it out for you brings it out for you easily just like that and helps you flush it out of your body which a normal plant wouldn't do any other day so yes go on and spice up your food with parsley as much as you like so next on the list is going to be bone broth and for some people this might be confusing because they kind of confuse um chicken broth beef broth with bone broth and it is very different and i'm going to explain how Bone broth has to do with only bones and only bones. And for you to extract the nutrients in bone broth, you have to boil bone broth for a longer time and also add a little bit of apple cider vinegar into it just to extract everything you need because boiling alone might not do the um, whole work. You might also want to use a pressure pot so as to kind of speeding up the effect of the boiling you are doing bone broth is rich in calcium which helps to strengthen your bones strengthens your joints It's also rich in nutrients that helps to helps you to sleep better is your brain power helps to seal your gut and just generally good for your body and it also helps to support the immune system a great deal so you might want to check you might want to look up videos about bone broth and if that's something you also want me to teach you guys how to make please let me know in the description box because i'm always ready to deliver anytime any day next on the list is spices and this is one of my favorite because I don't joke with my spices. I'm very, very huge on spices. My ginger, my garlic, my chili pepper, my Cameroon pepper, all of that fall under the class of spices. Did you know that? So we have cinnamon, we have ginger, garlic, chili pepper, whatever spice, calabash nuts make, the one we use for pepper soup spice. Like, who, who knew most of these are also diuretic and plants? They are anti inflammatory, they help to clear your gut also. And if you notice, once you take pepper, sometimes you have to always go to the toilet to do one or two things there. That's because it's helping you clear out all the oxidants, all the waste products you don't need in your body. It just helps you to sanitize and clean up everywhere. Skin, making your skin look lush and creamy. So you might want to take... So next time somebody invites you out to a pepper soup date, make sure you say yes. 
except you're like me that likes to make it in the house it's one and if you haven't seen the video where i made pepper soup i have more i have lots of videos i have about two videos or three videos where i made pepper soup so i'm going to leave a card here so you can check that out <laughs> i don't know what i'm laughing <laughs> so next on the list is flaxseed and flaxseed is a very good seed for me i like seeds because most of them i see them as fiber and anything that has fiber is good for the body because it helps with it aids digestion it heal it hates oh god it aids with your metabolism and that alone is something that sounds great to me like it's mind-blowing to me flax seed sesame seed um chia seed and so on and so forth most of those things i cherish them a lot and it reduces your blood pressure reduces the um, risk of ultraviolet rays also helps with your appearance of skin and also reduces the risk of cancer so you might want to implement that in your food i see people putting flaxseed in their salads in their this um, sprinkle it in their bread some people even have a uh, flaxseed induced water uh, i don't know you can do a lot with flaxseed so make sure you have that implement that in your meal one or two ways by which you can do that will be fine Next on the list is green tea. I don't know if you saw that coming, but how will green tea make this make this list? All right, so green tea is a very, 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 very is a very, very good um, drink for us, and that's because it is high in catechin, and those catechin catechins high in antioxidants, which helps to fight the waste in your body. It helps to reduce his blood pressure, helps to reduce the risk of cancer, helps to reduce heart um, problems. And it is also high in anti-inflammatory elements that helps to reduce inflammation in your body. So sometimes if you are down with a headache, you, all you need might be a cup of tea or a cup of green tea for you to feel better. You don't necessarily need to take Panadol. I know this for sure because it has worked for me. So yes, you might want to take a cup of green tea to reduce pains or, or aches and so on and so forth. Because I recently removed the tooth and sometimes when I feel pain, I take green tea most of the time i take green tea especially if you have been watching my stories you would have seen me taking green tea almost every single time i also have videos of teas recipes and beering and so on and so forth i will leave a card here also so if you want to check that out you might want to do that i also have many other ideas of green tea so if you want me to film a dedicated a dedicated video for green tea i mean if this video gets about 50 to 100 likes if this video gets about 50 to 100 likes i'm going to make a dedicated video for green tea so let me know in the description so let me know in the comment section if you want me to film a dedicated video for green tea all right so next on the list is vegetables and we have so many vegetables i mean what is rich with vegetables but here in nigeria the vegetables i like to mention are the ones we see every day you can have that in your salad you can have that in your soups. Many of our soups are filled with good vegetables. We have ugu, pumpkin leaves, we have water leaf, we have um, utazi, we have a fury. There are so many vegetables. And that's because they are rich in vitamin C. They are just fun to eat. As for me, they are fun to eat. I love vegetables a lot. I love salads a lot. I love lettuce a lot. Like lettuce is what I look forward to in any, in any salad. Eating vegetables alone helps to helps to maintain the texture of your skin helps to maintain the color of your skin helps to remain the freshness of your skin and it is rich in fiber and as i mentioned earlier fiber helps to fiber helps to um fiber 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 helps to hasten your metabolism and also clears your gut and just increases your metabolism have i mentioned that there's one more thing i want to mention after metabolism and it aids digestion also so please implement vegetables in your food no matter how small it may be just try and put them in your food because it has a lot of good that it does to your body especially in anti-aging all right next on the list is olive oil and some people might be wondering oh my god oil is that not fatty as fatty food no olive oil is good fat good for your body good for your heart good for your digestion fights depression serves as a painkiller good for your health and olive oil is not the bad oil it is a good oil good cholesterol that doesn't clog up your heart that doesn't clog clog up your arteries taking olive oil helps to increase the chemical called serotonin that is linked to happiness so that's why it's used to fight depression and i for 
I, for example, I can testify that olive oil helps or it aids digestion because sometimes when I get the keto constipation, that's when your body is transitioning. I mean, keto food comes in so many ways. Keto constipation is one of it for me. When I get the keto constipation, I take olive oil. I like I like to soak my meal in olive oil. If I'm having salad, I make my dressing from olive oil. If I'm having eggs, I drain my egg in olive oil because it's a fatty. Um, I'm also I'm, I'm on a high fat fat. I'm on a high fat diet, so why not just drink the olive oil? And that relieves me from my constipation. And the next day, I feel better. All right, last but not the least is fatty fish fatty fish is rich in omega-3 acid and I cannot begin to tell you the goodness of omega-3 acid I know some people might be thinking oh my god fatty food is normal for people to think that way keto alone confuses them so it's very fine I just want to know if you guys remember anything called cod liver oil we used to take when we were younger some people still take it till now that thing is made up of fat um, fish fat or fish oil and imagine if you can get the original from the fish itself so we have salmon we have um, tilapia fish we have um, catfish the skin is rich with fat and you notice that the skin is very very slimy and contains oil sometimes when you make your pepper soup spice or when you make your stew you see oil dancing on the top of the soup and that's from the fish so those th that oil is very good for your body all right so for this recipe i'm using fatty fish obviously catfish and that's because it is rich in fat and if you haven't seen my seafood video i'm going to leave a card up so you can check it out also my herbs as i mentioned earlier parsley celery which are great diuretic plants i also have spices here to go with it onions chili peppers garlic and um, ginger which I mentioned and emphasized on their good um, attributes and how it helps you to you know, build up your collagen and just keep you and your skin looking fresh and helps to repair your skin so I'm going to chop up my parsley and celery together I'm doing everything together because everything is going to be used to spice up my fish This does not even need to be finely chopped. I just chopped it up however I could. And here is olive oil that I'm going to use as my oil for, you know, spreading the spice all over the fish. And I am grinding my chili peppers. Guys, please ignore this grinder. It has been in my house for so many years, almost 10 years. So please just ignore the way it looks. So this is my spice now. I'm going to add my pepper to my parsley and celery that I chopped up. Next, I'm cutting my onions that I'm also going to use to spice up my, my, my fish. And just ring slices also is fine. And this is all I'm going to use. Notice I'm not using any seasoning cube. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I cut out seasoning cube for my diet a long time ago, going to three or four months now. And I'm just going to use salt, a generous amount of salt. And that is how much I need. That's the only thing that's going to be inside my um, seasoning. That's because salt is enough to do whatever I feel like doing. I'm going to mix this up now. And looking at this alone, it looks so good. There is no protein you are going to put this on that it wouldn't taste good. Be chicken, be turkey be it fish whatever protein you put this on is going to be so nice so i'm going to spread this all over my catfish generously and try and you know put it into the cuts where i made inside it so the whole seasoning can penetrate into the fish and it's not just the outer parts that is sweet and spicy but also the inner part i'm going to wrap this up quickly and put this into the oven so it can heat up and <laughs> we're going to have a nice time eating this so it's going to be in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes it doesn't take long to cook that's why i like catfish and here is my catfish pepper soup looking sumptuous guys <laughs> you don't want to know how sweet this was we had this with um fries and it was so good i beg you all to try it if you can Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and bye.